Hi, this is Lokesh Kumar from Informatica PIM support team. Today we are going to see how to set up PIM mobile for version 8403. To start with the agenda, we are going to see prerequisites before setting up mobile application, then setting up Tomcat followed by mobile, then at last we are going to start PIM mobile application. So prerequisites before setting mobile application. So you should have PIM server installed and running and the second one is you should have mobile connected to network where server is running and here we are going to use tomcat server and we are going to use pim web apps or pim var file which tomcat uses to connect to pim server and show in mobile so the second one is setting up tomcat followed by pim mobile first you should download latest apache tomcat server this can be available as pim third party software from mysupport.informatica.com and then you need to unpack this content and check whether tomcat is able to start correctly or not by running startup.batch file if it is able to run then you can skip the next step else you need to verify that java home and jre home variables are set correctly as environment variables make a note that pim 8403 version you should have a apache tomcat server and the apache tomcat server need minimum java, java uh, minimum java version 1.7 after starting it successfully you need to edit the catlin.batch file you need to search for logging manager as mentioned here you should search for these statements julie manager and logging manager then afterward then you need to add these three lines this will remove the encoded slash functionality not to be disabled that means by default tomcat server will disable this encoded slash so you need to enable it because the media asset identifier which uses slash it will be taken into account after making it true otherwise it won't take it so you need to save the file then you need to add pim.var in web apps of tomcat then you need to start tomcat server let me show you how it works so here i have pim server installed and pim server is running successfully and I have unzipped Tomcat here for 8.0.3 version in C drive. So make sure you have startup that bat running successfully. So it's running successfully. Now go to catalina.bat. and search for logging manager so I have added already encoder slash functionality so I can go ahead save it and running the file so the next step is you need to add pim.var file which you can get it from mysupport.informatica.com you need to drop the tom pim.var file in tomcat web apps and run the tomcat again if you run the tomcat it should show this step deploying web application archive which is pim.var and it has to create a folder unzipping it like this so tomcat is started successfully and now you can go to next step of starting pim mobile application make sure you your mobile has access to vm where tomcat server is installed you need to open browser and type the url of to access tomcat the url is ip of the vm or system and then followed by colon and then tomcat port which is 8080 by default and note that firefox based browsers are not supported as they don't support webkit and then you need to add a shortcut to desktop and let me show you how it works okay so this is my android mobile now we are going to see how to access pim mobile application and make sure you have a preset of pim server running in vm and then apache tomcat server with pim.var file 
already deployed then you should have a mobile connected to that system okay let me connect to network via pulse because i have vm on informatica network let me connect to that okay i am connected to informatica network now i can access vm so now you need to go to browser i'm using chrome browser and then you need to type ip of the tomcat server here it is 10.75.153.160 and followed by tomcat port check whether tomcat is running or not yes tomcat is running and then you need to access pim so you need to just mention slash pim which will access pim mobile okay this is how you can check whether it is able to access pim mobile or not now i have created a user in pim then a necessary right so if i try to log in this is how you can log in into pim mobile so you can see all the master catalog structure systems if you want you can add an item by clicking on add item and save it then you can go for administrator and check all the jobs which are scheduled or running or you can search for any item number or short description log out so this is how you access in browser now if you want to add it as an app then you need to go to this menu options then add to home screen give a name which you need to use if you add then it will be added to home screen so this is where you can see so now the app has been installed you can access the app by your home screen and you can search for all products or items assigned to any structure you can go to master catalog select any structures for example maintenance structure i have a structure group called first i have four products and check the items of the product one this is how you can access all the items or products and you can edit it or add an item please note that pim mobile is an example which uses rest api you can download it from marketplace and you can customize it and for more information you can search for documentation or kb in mysupport.informatica.com or uh, to install or for the detailed steps you can go to marketplace and yes we would like to hear from you you can subscribe to support videos at theinformatica.com or you can follow us in twitter slash info support thank you